Hi and welcome. Here I am today and I want to show you not how to create this image because it's quite simple, uh, but I can do a tutorial if you'd like me to. Uh, what I'm here for today is how to create, show you how to create a true white background. Sometimes we, when taking some photos, something looks proper white, but it's not white. So first I'm going to show you that this is not proper white. So the first thing I want to do is I want to select my foreground color and I'm going to white and as you can see this is now a true white and I'm going to select one of the tools I don't use quite often to be honest it's the paint bucket tool and the reason for that is if I hold the shift key and I'm holding now and click outside of my document that's actually white how cool is that and obviously we have a drop shadow that we can go to the menu to to preferences and uh, workspace uh, general does it work does it say the interface there we go and we have drop shadow we can actually no drop shadow here so click OK and obviously you can change the color in here as well so as you can see now we don't have any drop shadow and we can see that it does it doesn't look any true white so how can we do that well we can go to filter camera filter and we can actually clip the white so if we can come here and clip so now as you can see over here there's a red bit here if I bring it to add more exposure expands the red part and adds to another area so that means it's white so that's it's a true white so if I'll come here and I could just grab the white and start moving everything red that I see now it's actually true white and I'm just going to take it okay and as you can see now it's true white another way to do it is either using levels or curves I'm going to show you both just for the fun of it so I'm going to select levels and we have some eyedroppers here and the last one here it's the white point so if I click here that area just turns itself true white so if I come here as well true white true white and as you can see now it's proper white the good thing about using levels or curves and I'm going to show you now curves it's that we can actually uh, when we create the adjustment layer adds a layer mask so obviously you can bring some more detail from other areas so with the curves just like before the last eyedropper we've got three the last one I'll come here click and click and now it's a true white and as you can see we don't know where the image starts or ends just because we changed the color so I'm just going to actually outside and just click so you can see what's happening so uh, at this, this moment in time I could just uh, select my curves and select the brush like so and I can bring some detail back from some areas that I may decide that I don't want to keep a true white or because it's too overexposed now so for instance we can come like so and bring some detail back just painting on the brush on the layer mask and as you can see super cool super easy and as you can see it's a true and I'm going to do it again it's a true white background as you can see absolutely fantastic that's it for now thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video with your friends family and even to those you don't know thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now